actually feel the warmth of the sun today. Hi, Melba. Lovely. Um, we're going to do a block and we are going to do, I think it's probably the quickest, I called it a toot sweet block because it's like that. It's the quickest block. It really is. And um, genuinely, I think you could make a whole quilt top in an hour, maybe an hour and a half maximum. Honestly, this is super, super fast. Um, so I've been playing around with mini charms because we wanted a new pattern for a mini charm, something a bit different in something. And I was like, why am I going complicated? Why am I going all complicated and silly? Let's go simple. Because sometimes we need a quick present. We need something fast. We're going to a birthday or a baby shower or something and want something really quickly. So, um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Let's just say hello to some people. Hi, Leslie. Oh, thank you, my darling. Yeah, I like that cushion top. I'm, I'm going to actually finish that one. I am. I'm saying it live now and I'm going to finish it. Uh, hi, Sheila. Hi, Linda. Hi, Carolyn. Uh, hi, Heather. It's super sunny in Aberystwyth too today. Oh, lush. Yeah, it's nice. It's lovely. It's still chilly, but... It does feel like spring might be just edging, edging into sight. <laughs> so what we're going to do, um, oh, just before we start, the group quilt Fat Quarter is definitely back in stock. It's back on the web. It's on the website. I've updated it. Lots of you have found it, found it already. Um, it's in sale, daily deals, and then it's group quilts. Fat quarter grey, it's £2.50. Okay, but it's free postage. Okay, so um, I've put a load in the post today. Hopefully, if anyone else needs one, grab them while I've still got this last bolt. I've also had um I've had my first square in as well from Dawn. Dawn dropped and went off today. It's beautiful. She's done like this beautiful embroidered butterfly She's on her machine. It's lush. So, right, let's get on with this block, shall we? Let's do this. So over we go. Uh, hi Anne, oh the lovely Anne is in the shop looking after the shop for me today. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this this little bit here. We're going to make this little block. We're actually going to make four and it's going to take about three minutes to do four blocks. Okay, um, because I wanted to make a little, little lap blanket. Okay, so that's nine of them there. Okay, this is using a mini charm. This was an idea for using up all those little mini charms that we've got we've got there. And then I'm going to add some nice borders on like this. This is the new Zinnia range um, with another one of these in the corners. OK, and then one final little border and it comes up at 34 by 34, which is perfect for a pram blanket or a lap quilt. If you've got somebody, you know, maybe in a, a old people's home, or your residential home or something, or actually just for chucking over your lap when you're sat on the sofa. It comes up a really nice little size, really, really quick. Loving this new Zinnia fabric. The, it is on the website, I believe, the voltage, and we have got some of the fat uh, the mini charms. We haven't got other pre cuts yet. We're waiting, waiting. So, um, yeah, so this is a really, really quick one for mini charms. Okay. We're going to make four blocks. We're going to make four blocks just like that. So, what I did was I opened up my char mini charm pack and I split them. I took three out. You don't need those three. OK, so I, because I'm using a white background, I took the ones out that were nearest to that because I'm not going to use those ones. They can go in my scrap bucket. And I sorted them out into three piles. Oh, I've got four there. Oh, that's because that one's off that one. Sorry, 13 piles of three. So I want three mini charms and you need 13 of them to do the quilt. If you're just going to do the blocks, you might decide to just keep going and making more blocks or just a cushion, that's cushion size. So you could just make a cushion, okay? Uh, one mini charm will easily make a cushion, but I'm going to make it bigger. So piles of three, just to mix up the colors, make sure that they're, you know, um, you've got a, a variety of colors because I wouldn't want, I didn't want all the reds together, etc. Although you could do that if you wanted to. We're gonna chain piece these together. All right, so um, you love a scrappy quilt. Yeah, but you could cut this out of all your scraps. You could cut two and a half inch squares out of scraps as well. So we're going to whip over to the machine and we're going to make a little line of three. So I've got my first pile of three here. I'm going to put one to one side. I'm going to put these two right. So, oh, hang on, that's moved a little bit, hasn't it? Let me just go up a wee bit. There we go. Hopefully that's better now. I'm going to put them right sides together. I'm going to chain piece the first two. Okay, so off I go. Chain piece away. I'm going to grab my next pile. I'm going to put one to the side and I'm keeping these in order. So I've got one, two, 
put these two together and chain piece those. Next pile, one to the side, chain piece those together like that. Honestly, this is quickest thing in the world. This is like if you need a last minute quick present or you're making charity mates, you know, you're making charitable things to sell. Perfect. So how is everybody? Hello, Carol. How are you? Hi, Paula. Um, what lovely. Yeah. Wonderful. You have many charms. Fabulous. Fabulous. So I'm not going to break these. OK, I'm just going to lie, leave them because obviously I've, where I've chain pieced, you've got that little thread holding them. I'm not going to snip them apart. I'm going to open that out and I'm going to add number one to this side. Okay, like that. You could snip them apart if you want to, but it keeps them in order, particularly if you've sorted your colours out. Okay, it keeps them in the order that you've sewed them. There we go. Next one, like that. And I'm not overthinking it too much. I'm just keeping them into colour order. There we go. Next one. And then the last one, and then putting that one on like that. And that is the centre row of four blocks. Done. How quick was that? Really, really quick. Hi, May. How are you, my darling? So I am going to snip them apart now. I'm going to snip them apart on both bits. Obviously, use scissors if you want to, but there we go. And we're going to come back over here. So what I've got now is... <laughs> Four of these all done together it doesn't matter which way you iron them because we're going to put background fabric on there's no nesting either no nesting in the slightest so there we go like that and like that first bit done what was that two minutes so now what we're going to do is we're going to i've got some two and a half by six and a half inch so that should now measure six and a half inches okay by two and a half so I've got my background fabric which is two and a half by six and a half and we're going to put one either side of each block like I said this is mega quick mega simple as well okay so if you are making to sell or making for charity really really quick to do hello Maggie how are you darling um, so we're going to put one either side like that. So I'm going to do that on all the blocks. Again, we're going to chain piece it. There we go. Like that. Take it over. Make sure it's right sides together. Like that. And then we're going to add this one on. Like that. Okay. Stitch down one side. So, so how have you all been? Anybody been up to anything? Anybody got any news to tell me? I, uh, I unfortunately have no news at all. It's all just been shop, 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 shop. But typically, I thought I'd got ahead of myself and then loads of things were like, no, nope, it's not happening. Oh, why won't this, this won't stay up today? My camera won't keep um, slipping down. There we go. See, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? There we go. So again, you don't have to pin. All I do is just make sure that that's tucked under nicely, that seam, so I'm sewing down. I think actually it will take you longer to cut out your background rectangles than it will to actually sew this. I genuinely put those nine together last night in 20 minutes, nine blocks, if that. Uh, you're going to make your group block today. Ah, lovely, fab. So what's everybody doing with their group block? If you've got an idea, are you gonna are you gonna put something fancy in the center, or are you gonna just fussy cut something, or are you just gonna do it as is? It really doesn't matter what you decide. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Leslie, you're making the cushion from yesterday. Ah, oh, fabulous. Marion, what's the block? I'm calling this my toot sweet block. Um, it's a really, really quick one using a mini charm, okay? I'm not gonna bother to iron that at the moment. I'm just gonna flip it straight away. <laughs> and add a two and a half by six and a half. Um, yeah, we're just using a, a quick, quick quilt, really mega fast lap quilt or pram blanket, pram quilt, you know, because I know you're not supposed to use them in cots, but it's nice to have a, a blanket for, you know, out in the pushchair or the pram, isn't it? 
um, like that. And I flip this one out. Let's add the next one. Um, going to Hebden Bridge. Uh, went to Hebden Bridge a couple of weekends ago. Oh, nice. That sounds cool. What's at Hebden Bridge? Is there something there that's interesting that I need to know about? Add the next one on. Let's open that up. Which side is it? I'm just checking. Oh, hang on. I've lost which side it is. I picked it up the wrong way. There we go. Making sure my right and wrong side, because it's a tiny, tiny little pattern on this one, but it's quite a hard one to see what it is, whether it's the right or wrong side. There we go. And then add this one on. I like a project that's fast sometimes you know when you just think oh I just want to make something I'm gonna put a fleece on the back of this quick and simple there we go and done uh, Tommy Lee Royce oh no sorry Carol oh, you've lost me on that my darling okay I'm gonna sound really stupid now who's Tommy Lee Royce uh, Africa Fabric Shop it is Hebden Bridge ah right okay so let's go back over here um, and what we're going to do is we're going to just press this out towards the background fabric like that so just gently finger press there we go like that we'll do this on all four and that's four blocks done what's that six minutes six minutes to make four blocks easy peasy and that's when we yabbit in on as well uh, I have the same problem can't tell the right side from the back <laughs> Uh, Happy Valley. What's Happy Valley? You're watching Happy Valley. I haven't watched any of them. Do I need to watch them? Maybe I do. Everyone keeps going on about how amazing it is. Maybe I need to. Um, <laughs> Linda and I had a very long conversation today about, um, uh, yesterday rather, about finding the right and wrong side of fabrics because she just couldn't see it and we were doing this whole thing. Um, I think uh, somebody is texting me, so sorry about the noise as well. Right, so six blocks, done. Super, super fast, like that, okay? How I put the center one together was I literally went like that. So I turned each one, of the, you know, the center piece, and did that. So I've got one going that way and one going that way. The following row is the opposite way around. So it's like that. And then I did one further row, so I did three rows, which comes out at 18 by eight, 18 and a half by 18 and a half, um, which is perfect for a cushion front. You know, if you're making really lovely, bright, you know, maybe for to sell or for charity, really lovely, fast, quick, quick ones. But I'm actually going to make this into a little lap quilt. So I put nine together as my center, like that. Okay, I'm hoping this is far enough for you to see. So I put those out and then I'm going to use one of the coordinating fabrics, which is this one. I'm going to put this down the sides. Now I have written up this, uh, this up as a pattern. I will pop it on the website later. So I'm going to put this down the sides, but I'm going to use the, these extra four as my cornerstones. So I didn't bring the other piece of fabric over from the shop. So you imagine when that goes on there like that, this is going to be my cornerstone like that up there. Is that that's too far away isn't it hang on let me bring it down a little bit and then i'll have another piece of this fabric over here this isn't the right width unfortunately like that that one will come along here like that and then i'll have another cornerstone up there and then in the four corners okay which has already made it big enough for a pram, pram blanket but if you want it to be a little lap blanket i'm then going to put a little two and a half inch all the way around with a really bright I'm going to pick out one of these colours and have a bright pipe on it. Okay, so it's it's really, really, really simple. I mean, what's that? I've been going, what, 10 minutes? 16 minutes. Sorry, just looking at the clock. 16 minutes. And you could basically put this together that quickly. You know, you could, I, I genuinely think you do the quilt top, the whole thing, in an hour, if that. You know, I think it's such a quick thing to do. Uh, but looks really effective and would look very different depending on which mini charm you went. If you had, say, 
one of the oh I can show you this actually if you had one of the Bon Voyage ones the new Jack Claire ones you know which is more subtle which are these sorts of colorways they're all sort of this sort of colorway you know and did it maybe with that you know like a beautiful sort of dusky green or something as your background or as your accent color it would give it a totally different feel I mean this is very bright and beautiful and lovely for you know like a summer or even if you sat out on the patio of a summer evening you just get a little bit chilly you just want summer over your knees you know something like this would be stunning um but you could do something more like that you know if you wanted to do something more adult maybe use one of your other mini charms have a little play around have a check in your stash because i know you've all got mini charms there have a little check in your stash of what mini charms you've got maybe oh maybe could we do that as a challenge could we do it as a challenge give you a give you a week to to make a make a quilt <laughs> i could do my problem would be selecting the three mini charms that go together oh no you only need one darling you only need one mini charm it's one pack of mini charms oh you mean the three here don't think about it so what i did literally was i open. i haven't got one here i should have brought one over with me i opened the mini charm up okay and because i knew it was using white i took out the three whitest ones and then i went one two three four five like that out in 13 and literally like that don't think about it don't let it i know i know it's a bit difficult if, if you're a bit ocd but try not to think about it just put them out in the in the order that you've got them in the charm pack okay and then don't mess with them don't do it because it becomes random then because you're going to be turning them and stuff it's random so trust the process trust it trust it so yeah fastest little block in the world genuinely and i genuinely think that you could make that quilt the whole thing in less than two hours maybe three if you just bagged it out you didn't even quilt it pro you know like properly quilt it or bind it you know <laughs> i know i know carolyn i know but you can't think about it sometimes you've just got to go with it okay <laughs> it's the joy of a scrappy type thing just going with it um so yeah not much to show you today because it's the simplest little block but how about we do a little bit of a challenge what size is white two and a half by six and a half sorry two and a half by six and a half so when you put the three together this will become two and a half by six and a half and then two and a half by six top and bottom okay and then like that literally just turn them okay i'll put a challenge up for anybody who wants to have a little go i'm going to give you till next tuesday to make this quilt top all right so that's that piece your side pieces will be six and a half by 18 i'll put them on the challenge post okay i'll put the set the cutting instructions on go for it make this quilt top and i'll do a little challenge post all right and anybody who does it will put will find you something find you something nice all right i just think it will make you do something quick and instant and get that satisfaction of completing something put your time on it as well i'd like to see actually how quick you do it because it I genuinely think it could be the whole thing could be done in less than an hour. The whole quilt, quilt top it might take you longer to quilt it, but the whole quilt top is less than an hour, I promise. All right. So that's your really quick one o'clock today. <laughs> is your very, very speedy toot sweet. It nearly got called the Fat Boy Slim block because it was right here, right now. You can do it right here, right now. Quick, come on. <laughs> was it nine blocks? It was lovely. So. You're going to make 13 blocks i'll put the pattern on for those of you who want it okay i'll put it onto the website so nine blocks for your center you're then going to put six and a half bit six and a half by 18 and a half all the way around with these in the corners okay and then a two and a half inch one to finish all right i use them my background fabric i'll put it i'll put the cutting instructions on the challenge post okay so rather than challenge post that rather than something you have already made this is going to be a challenge for something you can make all right um yeah don't overthink it heather you're right you're on that one now yeah let's see do it honestly fast quick i reckon 
I reckon you could have it done by the end of end of play today. Easy. <laughs> Um, but I will put the challenge post on now, okay? And have a little go if you fancy it. If you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. We, You know we do lots of challenge posts, so there'll be other ones you can join in on. I'll put the cut instructions up on Facebook and I'll put the pattern if you want it on our website. And I will see you tomorrow in the shop at one o'clock. We are going to do a little bit of a what's in the box because something arrived today and I've deliberately not opened it because I don't know what it is. Um, so we're going to do what's in the box. But ask me any questions. Ask me anything at all. And I will attempt to answer as many as I can, if I can. Um, and yeah, we'll have a little chat tomorrow, okay, in the shop. So um, mini charms are out already. Amazing, Leslie. You're on it. I, I come on. I want. I, I reckon. Can you get it done by three o'clock, Leslie? What do you reckon? <laughs> I think it takes longer to cut out your backing fabric than make it. So. Little bit of fun today. Nothing very serious. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.